if you're looking at the top elevation there, the window in number 38, which is referred to, is the current position in terms of what the shadow would show at the present time with the sun facing to the south against those windows. That's, that's correct. And your argument, from a planning perspective, is that as that is being replaced with a higher room, admittedly, but further away, and also reducing the impact because of the uh, chain of section you've shown there, your view would be that there's less actual loss of light to that set of rooms than to all and the front room than there would be for some of the previous Well, it's not less, Another question, you mentioned that that window on the left hand side is the hall. This window on the right hand side, you say, is the bedroom. Is that the only bedroom window, or is there a bedroom window showing from that room to the front? It's the only bedroom window. So looking at the bottom photograph, clearly the view they've got at the moment is of the single story white extension and that amount of window in number four. In number four which of course, as we've seen from the elevation you show, is being replaced with two, three small windows, two of which are to the garage, which is from the other area, and one small one to the front end. So the overlooking from 40 to 38 would appear to be a significant increase. Exactly right. Just, just to, to clarify, th there isn't an overlooking issue. In fact, the overlooking issue would be reduced from, from the new scheme. Um, I, I think that the, the focus of the objection is one of, of loss of light into that bedroom rather than overlooking. Should do yes. I mean, what, the way it works is that the datum would be agreed off the site, and then measurements for finished floor levels would be taken from that datum.
This proposal is to retain a building which is currently used as a cattery within the site. The site is green belt and there have been two previous refusals um, due to the lack of the applicant demonstrating the very special circumstances that are required because of the inappropriate developments within the green belt. The retention of the building doesn't relate to agricultural purposes which is where the applicant needs to demonstrate the very special circumstances to outweigh the harm. In this instance, the very special circumstances have been described as diversification of the site to support the other uses within the sites, including a riding school, a livery, as well as the agricultural uses. It's now considered that the applicant has adequately demonstrated the reasons that support the development within the Green Belt. Furthermore, the existence of the building in the Green Belt will not be harmful to the openness of the character of the Green Belt itself, and on this basis we recommended approval. Issues that weigh in favour of the proposed development. 
Hexman Gardens itself comprises many residential pro properties, and the site is currently unkempt and unsightly, and it's used as an important car parking area. It's on this basis that we consider, although it's contrary to the um, policies related to commercial development, it's unlikely that a commercial development could be forthcoming. And it's considered that the reuse of the site for residential purposes will not only improve the appearance of the site, um, but it's more beneficial use and more sustainable location. And on this basis, it's recommended for approval. And that we show that um, I think relates to a proposal for a new sports hall at Colday Grange School and includes alterations to the car park and the gym. The building will be located in an area used as car park and a tennis court. Part of the site is designated as school playing field, but it's not used as such, albeit the, the tennis court is there. The design and scale and layout of the new building is in keeping with the other groupings of the school buildings within the site, and the new building is located a sufficient distance away from the nearby houses. Um, in terms of the loss of parts of the playing field, we've had confirmation today from Sports England that they have no objection to the proposal. But however, we do propose an additional condition that isn't reported within the report or on the link list, and as we've already received it this afternoon, and they're requesting the submission of details of the internal layout of the sports building. So, in line with their guidance, we want to propose an extra condition um, just requesting the design and layout of this proposed sports hall. Um, and the development shall be carried out in accordance with the routine terms. Any questions? Okay, so the officer's recommendation of approval was that we approve with the new condition. So, okay, uh, David proposed and then second, so all those in favour? Thank you very much. for 12 detached dwellings on the site at 17 Mile Road South. There has been a previous outline approval and subsequent reserve matters approvals for 12 dwellings, and this is an effort that they are at stamp permissions and have been implemented as works have commenced on site. This proposal is submitted as a result of a change in land ownership, and the new developer wants to seek to amend the previously approved layout with slight changes to the footprint and the orientation of certain plots within the site, and also changes to the internal driveways. The amendments are considered acceptable, and the principle of developing a site for 12 dwellings is already established. Notwithstanding this, the submitted details and the revisions in terms of the scale, design, location, layout, 
will not be sorting any harm to the character of the area or to the occupiers of the adjacent houses. The report does state um, that there will be removal of committee developments related to extensions. However, the condition isn't included in the report. So again, Burnley, I'd like to recommend that we attach that condition in addition to the ones contained in the report to remove any committee development for future extensions to the properties. Um, it is recommended for approval. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Is there any questions for Mr. Extension uh, will continue the front porch across the front of the house and effectively infills a corner of the existing house. The main objection is from the adjacent property who, who um, has concern that the extension will result in a tunnel effect and a loss of light. And this is from number 17. However, the extension is single storey and it doesn't, um, it doesn't extend any further than the existing footprint and it doesn't come any further forward than the existing house. We consider that, if you can see on the, on the plan there, towards the bottom of the application site, there's a recess, and the, the, the proposal is just to infill that small area. And you can see that the house next door, in number 70, is set slightly further back, so it's not going to increase the existing situation, the orientation, and we consider it complies with the policy HS11 and recommend approval. four semi-detached bungalows. There's, again, it's been a previous approval for four bungalows, and this proposal seeks a slightly different layout, and the bungalows will now front onto the road um, at Victoria Fields. The layout is in keeping with the character of the area and makes a good use of the site. The main objection, again, one objection we see, uh, raises issues of on-street parking and also that are currently experienced in the area. This proposal provides for off-street parking for each of the proposed plots. And as such, there is no highway objection, as there will be no in, in, increase in parking on the street. A call to policy HS11 and recommend approval. Any questions? Okay, can you have a second? Okay,
suggest that you rules and said to, to 